Information and communication technologies have dramatically changed the way that people all over the world live, work and communicate. Nowhere is the impact of this transformation more strongly felt than in Africa. Despite the impact of ICTs in the region, connectivity remains prohibitively costly in eastern and southern Africa because this is the only part of the continent that is not connected to the global broadband infrastructure. The region currently accounts for only 0.07% of international bandwidth capacity because it relies on expensive satellite infrastructure with bandwidth prices 20 to 40 times higher than those in the United States. As a result, the region is ill-placed to compete in the global economy. Currently, if you need one meg, you pay $7,500. Uh, compare that to the world average of $200. Uh, it is just impossible. For us to put 25 agents on the, on the phone, it will cost us close to $17,000 a month to do that. For those same 25 agents in a lot of these other countries where this big client is doing business, that will cost them about six to 900, depending on the country, maybe even $1,000 a month. It's absolutely imperative that the government do something right now to make bandwidth affordable for us. If we don't get this business now, we're going to miss a huge opportunity and it's gonna go right by us at Kencall, but more importantly, right by us in Kenya, and people are going to say, you know what, it's Africa. It's not ready for these kinds of jobs. We told you, we knew you couldn't do this in Africa. The proposed Africa Regional Communications Infrastructure Program, RCIP, is part of the broader World Bank and IFC Open Access Initiative to leverage private sector participation in order to improve connectivity across eastern and southern Africa. There are two main components to the joint World Bank and IFC effort. Undersea fiber optic cables and landing stations, which are being led by private telecom operators with financing from IFC and other development partners, and terrestrial networks to ensure last mile connectivity within each country. Through RCIP, the World Bank will provide catalytic funding to attract and maximize private sector investment for this component. The IFC and RCIP World Bank components are highly complementary to ensure the viability of the overall program. A submarine cable without backhaul and backbone links would not be viable. Conversely, countries would not have an incentive to develop national infrastructure without reliable submarine cable initiatives. The first phase of RCIP supports three countries, Kenya, Burundi and Madagascar. Other eligible countries can join subsequent phases of RCIP on a readiness basis. In addition to directly supporting the construction of physical infrastructure, RCIP will invest in capacity purchase for target user groups, such as governments and universities. The program will also support e-government initiatives that will increase transparency and promote good governance. Avec la, la venue de, de, de la fibre optique, ce serait une révolution, bien entendu. Ça serait très facilité et nous pourrions, pourquoi pas, rêver d'avoir une dizaine de pays et qui émettraient en même temps, qui diffuseraient un même programme en même temps par le biais de l'Internet. Les universités malgaches pourraient également, si ces, ces coûts diminuaient, faire des propositions de, de formation à distance. Donc il y aurait un, ré un rééquilibrage. On n'aurait plus la logique de formation du nord vers le sud on pourrait avoir des formations du sud vers le nord. RCIP has generated strong support from government leaders who have great visions of what this will mean for their respective nations. Euh, après le projet dans quatre ans, ce que je, moi j'ai comme vision, c'est que au niveau de toutes les universités, ils soient connectés. Que au niveau de l'administration, on n'utilise plus de papier. Qu'il y ait des réseaux au niveau de tous les ministères qui est des réseaux au niveau même des secteurs privés, qui est au niveau même du, du secteur commercial, on sache utiliser l'outil informatique pour pouvoir vendre même des produits.
que ce projet avec la Banque mondiale va compléter la totalité du de, de, de backbone national. Ça veut dire que les grands axes et les grandes villes de Madagascar seront desservies à haut débit. In the next five years, uh, the whole infrastructure will be done, and we would also have covered the whole, the entire rural Kenya. ICTs would increase productivity in this country, and you increase productivity, you increase economic development. We want to change, uh, change this country uh, to become a lion and fight the tigers.